On today's show, we're going to take a look at a nice little Bahamian appetizer dish, crayfish fritters. Now, you may maybe say cray, bah, crayfish. We'll get to that in a second. Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. Man, we've got everything we need right here. So let's go ahead and get started on our Bahamian crayfish fritters right now. Let's go ahead and get started on our Bahamian crayfish fritters. We got everything we need right here. We can start out, well, we, we got kind of two separate types of ingredients. We got dry ingredients here. We got some wet and <laughs> a little lumpy ingredients here, but we're gonna consider those wet ingredients. We got about a cup and a quarter, cup and a third of all-purpose flour right here. We've got, a, um, we got some potato starch, a tablespoon of uh, potato starch right there. We've got two teaspoons of baking powder. That's going to make it kind of poof out a little bit. We've got some uh, brown sugar, dark brown, homemade dark brown sugar right there. We've got a tablespoon of that. Then we've got a teaspoon of salt. We've got about a little less than a half a teaspoon of cayenne. And we've got a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now what we're going to do with these, we're just going to add them in just like that. I'm going to leave these right here for a second. We'll get back to these ingredients in a sec. Oh man, you're not playing. There we go. So there we go. We got our bacon powder, our potato starch in there. You can use cornstarch if you want. It's up to you. Depends on what you have. <laughs> and then right here, we're going to add our brown sugar. And now we're going to come in. We're going to break that up and we're going to mix it well, just like so to get all everything kind of instead of sifting. We're going to we're just going to do a little whisking. You could also sift if you want. But anyway, here we go. Just get this in here just like that. And I tell you, voila, step one ha, is done. So I tell you, I'm going to put him right here. And while we're uh, you know, getting everything mixed up. I do have my oil over here heating up. I want to get that to about 340 when we begin to drop these ha, into our uh, our vegetable oil right over there. Now we've got our wet ingredients right there. That is a third cup of evaporated milk and a third cup of water. We've got one egg. Uh, let's see. Well, we got a little bit of lemon. We have a little lemon juice in there. Right here, we got the zest of that whole lemon that we have <laughs> half right there. And we got a couple of teaspoons of thyme leaves. Uh, get that sec. We've got uh, half of uh, sweet onions, about that big, cut it in half, grated it. And we got about three stalks of celery that we also grated. And right here, crayfish fritters, right? Okay, thinking, you know, like me. Crayfish? Ah, man, I don't want any crawdads. No, no, no. The, the Bahamians call the lobster a crayfish. The Florida lobster, the Caribbean lobster, the langusta, or the, or the warm water spiny lobster. That's what they call um, a crayfish. Yeah, you're thinking about something down in Louisiana, the, the Gulf Southern part of the U.S. Yep, nope, nope, nope. We are talking about lobster tails right here. So, there it is. This right here is about a cup of uh, cooked and chopped up uh, lobster tails, uh, uh, crayfish, whatever you want to call them. But um, uh, and like I said, it is cooked. Take your, um, your, your, your lobster tails, boil them water, salted boil them water, drop those tails in that water and cook them for one minute per ounce, boom. Take them out, put them, run them under some cold water to stop that cooking, pop them up the shell, chop them up and voila, there you go. Now, we're gonna take and we're gonna combine all these together and then we're going to then take our dry ingredients in here mix them up and then right in the oil we shall go so let's go ahead i'm gonna move mr mr crayfishes out the way we're gonna add our milk just like so and we'll come in here with our egg we're just gonna come in and just dump everything in here i'll deal with you in a minute get our zest of our lemon now i'm gonna come in with my thyme like I said, it's about, it might be two teaspoons of time. I'm just gonna kind of get in there and kind of bruise those up to kind of help release all the flavors. Then here goes our uh, celery and our onion, just like so, out the way you go. Yep, in the sink, not on the counter. And now I'm gonna come in with our lemon and I'm probably gonna use, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon or so 
Oh, make sure I didn't get any seeds in there. That would not be fun to deal with. So, you know, that's probably um, half of a half. That makes a quarter of a lemon. <laughs> so, any anywho, there we go. So, now we're going to come in with our whisk and break that egg up. And we're going to combine all of our wet and lumpy ingredients. Oh, man, there you go. I think we are combined. Everything looks good. Kind of, kind of shake some of that celery and inner onions off my whisk. In you go. Now we're going to come in with our spoon. And we're going to come in and we are going to create our fritter batter. You know what? Let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and add my, my crayfish to this right now. Almost forgot about that. Get all that out of there. That is some delicious goodness right there. Now we'll come in with our spoon and just combine all that, break it all up so it gets dispersed throughout. Oh, heck yeah. And actually, man, that is starting to smell good. We haven't really done anything yet. Heck yeah. Now I'm going to come in and I'm just going to dump just about all of this in here. And we're going to mix it up and see the consistency of what we've got. So in we go, just like that. Move you there. Oh man, I tell you what, I do believe we got it. It is time to begin frying. If our oil is where it needs to be, let's check that out right now. What do we have? Well, let's put it on. There we are. We are there, we're at 350. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. It will cool down. I like to try to keep it at about 340 degrees. So, you know, we don't get too much browning too quickly on these. So I'm gonna turn that down just a tad. And now we're gonna come in after making noise. Get you in there, cause I saw a little piece of that crayfish. <laughs> so real quick, quick rinse to the fingers. And now we're gonna come in and we're gonna be in spooning our fritter batter into our hot oil, just like so. And I like to wet my spoon in between. So let's see, I'm gonna come in just like so, and we're just gonna drop that in there just like that. Oh man, ooh yeah, heck yeah. Don't wanna crowd them, do not crowd them, but we're gonna come in and probably do maybe, maybe four in this little um, pot I've got there. Oh, get out of the way, there we are. And then let's come in here and grab one more, whoop, just like that. Okay, that one, it held together, yay. And we'll do one more. They don't have to be pretty. They just have to taste good. So, right here, we're gonna be going on for probably two or three minutes. We're gonna flip them over, another minute and a half. They'll be done. We'll be ready to make one more batch. Oh yeah. All right, I tell you what, man, was, how about that? It just turned by itself. Heck yeah, that one did too. So we are on a roll, literally. And yeah, there we go. Check those out right there now. Tell you what, man, those are looking, oh, those are looking good. They're looking so good. Now it's going to be time. Here we are right here. We need to get our little wire rack sitting right here. Just like that. So we can take our fritters, put them over here, and let any oil kind of sort of drip through my wire rack onto my paper towels. Oh, man, check those out. Tell you what, those are looking great. So I tell you, we're gonna come over, we're just gonna drop these guys just like that on our wire rack. Voila. Oh man, check that out. Look how light those things are. Voila. And get that out of here. Drop that right there. Who knows what we can do with those? I'm sure we're gonna <laughs> eat those. Yes, I know we are. So we can come back in here and we're going to add another four fritters heck yeah oh man i tell you what these are looking good heck yeah just like that we can get these things out of our oil let them rest for a second and we will be ready to do a little plating of our own just like that heck yeah in you go 
Man, check those things out right there. Oh, the light and soft. Oh, man, those things are smelling good. Those are still warm. I won't touch those quite yet. But I tell you what, speaking of plating, let's go ahead. I got a little, uh, little serving uh, tray over here. I don't know what you want to call it. It's probably should have more of that on these two sides. But I tell you what, speaking of that, that is some of our sweet scotch bonnet chili sauce. Oh, that's going to pair well with our little guys over here and you know what let's go ahead and do that let's get some of let's get these guys in here just like that oh man heck yeah voila and then what i don't know something like that oh man yes we'll get this little guy here and here they're still <laughs> warmer than those <laughs> so in here just like that are you kidding me wow let's see you know what let's grab this guy here and here, oh man, you can smell that lobster, that crayfish, I'm sorry. <laughs> but man, check that out right there. I tell you what, always trying to figure out how to, I don't know, spruce up or kind of decorate. We got some, some nice little edible orchids right here. I don't know, when we come in with maybe one of the blue ones, what will that do? Would that give us anything right there? I don't know, heck yeah, that'll work. And then we've got, I tell you what, we'll come in with a little purple one right here, just like so. Maybe a little bit of a little bit of fresh thyme. I don't know, something like that. I don't know what that was. Come on this side. Just kind of give it a little bit of, a uh, little bit of color, kind of break up that brown. But I tell you what, man, wow. How about that? How's it look? Okay, just trying to check it out. <laughs> hey, that ain't too bad. Heck no, but I tell you, I think that'll be perfect. Man, I tell you what, how about that right there? Man, that was quick and easy and simple and that's gonna pair so well with our sweet scott bonnet um chili sauce man i tell you what i cannot wait to get into these here in a minute man they are going to be delicious i can tell you that but man check that out ah uh, there you go right there man there is our bahamian crawfish fritters unbelievable quick simple easy and delicious if you want the recipe which I hope you do check out the description down below and uh hey right down there hey we've got this recipe right here for our sweet scotch bonnet chili sauce right there don't forget to subscribe to the channel like comment and subscribe it all does help until next time god bless and we'll see y'all soon